Um, so here we are in the Devon Bow House in Oklahoma City. Uh, now we've got some of the bikes. We've got Christian on there right now doing a Sunday morning recovery. Uh, Apparently he's sure doing some studying or something too. Is it what, <laughs> yeah, studying, watching movies, uh, recovering <laughs> from either Saturday night or Saturday racing. Uh, <laughs> standard medicine ball, sort of uh, free weights. Uh, Rollers and mats and everything. You got basically every kind of erg available, it looks like. Yeah, we have the ergs you've never seen before. Got, <laughs> these are the new dynamic ergs. Um, the idea is that there's there's less weight transfer, so it's better for your it's better for your back. You have to use more core to hold yourself up than to pull pull the legs up to use. So, you know, we kind of say this is a soccer mom chariot. We've got <laughs> uh, one of my yeah. personal favorites. We've got the standard ergs here. Um, we have a lot of Paralympic athletes that train here, so some of them are set up for uh, for fixed seat sliders up here. Right. You know, we always have some that are on sliders, so mm -hmm. there's not much moving around that has to go up. Yeah. Uh, Got some nice big mirrors here. Yeah. Um, some really weird. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. Some really weird mirrors. <laughs> uh, you know, we've got the flat screen TVs, which actually Oklahoma City's not in any shortage of flat screen TVs. Nice. Uh, you can have them all on different channels. You can, mm -hmm. uh, the music that you're hearing, I think that's... You've got XM radio, there's Pandora stations, there's iPod hookups, there's Apple TV, there's uh, Boathouse feeds. You know, you can kind of hook up whatever mm -hmm. you want, you can listen to whatever you want, it's really easy. And you can have each room and uh, listening to something different. Um, we've got some heavy duty equipment here, we're just... You know, trying to balance on the earth. Oh, wow, yeah. So two people were here this week, and mm -hmm. they had never seen this before, so I don't know where we found it. Uh, you know, you can kind of set the amount that you'll allow it to sway back and forth here. And it's currently on one of its easiest settings, and uh, it's pretty... It's pretty, pretty challenging. Tough. Very few people can actually do it. <laughs> uh, and then these are the Vortex sliders. A lot of moving parts here for this one, and this is pretty good to use. Whatever we're testing on is what we're spending the most time on. Mm -hmm. um, then we've got kind of like a mountain climber stair stepper sort of thing. And That's where you do most of your training. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, all right, right, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we've got tra a treadmill out here, and then we've got some more equipment over in this room here. <laughs> this is where the athletes see, sleep, and the Royal House right now just went through uh, the biggest regatta of the year, and the biggest events of the year, so everything's kind of uh, jumbled around. It's usually pretty neat and tidy. Some athletes living in here right now, they're athletes getting prepared for uh, the Pan Am Games, which is actually at altitude, so right. um, I'm not sure the altitude here, so right now it's set to go up to 12,000 feet, we're simulating 9,750 feet right now. You know, we kill time to spend a lot of time in here mm -hmm. to get the effect. Uh, we've got Xbox 360 controls where you kind of just, it looks at your hand motions and looks at where your body is so you can you know, move around and be active because it's not a huge room and if you're spending a lot of time in here and you're not sleeping, mm -hmm. uh, it's nice to have something to do. You can drag a, a bike into here and watch a movie. You can drag an ergon into here. This is where most of the team bonding occurs. <laughs> uh, so here's the bath, the bath, the shower, uh, and just the locker room, pretty standard. Mm -hmm. Say it's nothing fancy except for the fact that we've got uh, flat screen in here. Yeah, I did notice the fact that there was a series of um, quality movies on the other locker room yeah, before the before the race. Pineapple Express, uh, <laughs> Top Gun. Right. So you can just what you them. need before before some uh, quality racing there. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. A little tour of the boathouse. So. Yeah, show them around? Good. A little bit. You're in good hands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, down the fancy staircase. Yeah. Yeah, the, the beer is not always here. Uh, we'd be a lot less productive if it were. Yeah. Free weights. You know, it, it's built into the ground. You can drop the weights pretty much anywhere. So, mm -hmm. uh, pretty standard Olympic weights. Right. Um, 
We got the uh, tanks next door? Yeah, we can head into the tanks next door. All right. So, All right. here's the uh, dynamic propulsion tank. Gray uh, beams are on uh, rollers, so they can actually move. Oh, yeah. It would be a dynamic tank, meaning that it moves and it simulates the boat, boat feel better. Right now, there's an injector up there. Oh, yeah. Injecting. What you would see, I don't know, I guess to try and simulate mine, but, but if you take a look down here, there's a series of cameras. Huh. So project on the front room, uh, the view from the cameras. Oh, wow. So you'll be able to see your rowing stroke from a different angle. Uh, you can pick whatever camera you want. You can, you'll be able to move the cameras uh, in the future. They've also talked about putting telemetry on the... Uh, then they'd be able to project the telemetry as well. When you're back here, it's kind of like, I feel like I'm operating some machinery or something. <laughs> You've got a key to turn it on, turn it up. Taking the master control off right now just for that. That's because I knew you were coming in here probably. Sometimes uh, a projector or a camera won't beat a mirror, so we've got mirrors in here. You gotta, you gotta have those. Yeah. Let's look at which is, there's a lot of events that go in here. Mm -hmm. We've got a kitchen that's pretty full right now. The bow house, the bow houses have a lot of appeal. In terms of, uh, I think the city finds it to be a pretty cool thing to have elite rowing here, or to have some sort of Olympic level sport. Mm -hmm. You know, the the Thunder or the big is a big thing in the city here. The NBA team, um, the bow houses, I think it's a appeals to the city as well. There are weddings here. You can see across the way, there's everybody working out. So sometimes you'll be here on like a Saturday or Sunday and you'll be working out and you'll notice flashing, flashing lights and you'll look over and the bride's walking down the aisle and you're kind of <laughs> in the background. Um, sometimes they put drapes up, but sometimes they don't and then you're just... Taking part in the celebration. It's yeah, good. They, you know? they want the experience and they'll get the experience. Yeah, so this is just where some of the parties will go, the event, and they've got a space to have a bar over there. Mm -hmm. um, and here's it goes right over looking into the boat bay. Oh, here's a great view. Ready? Yeah. Marcus McLaney hitting on women with his shirt off, getting a nice <laughs> tan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It never stops. <laughs> So it's not just rowing, it's kayaking as well. There's right. kayakers. Uh, the event that just went on here used a lot of the space, so we're putting boats back into the boat house. Mm -hmm. At the front of the boat house, uh, it illuminates really well at night, and um, a really well-known architect has designed all these buildings, Rand Elliott. Uh, they look pretty cool. They're kind of like spaceship design, sort of. The finish line tower just got finished the other day. It's over here. It's got everything they could ever need to broadcast rowing to the world. If, mm -hmm. rowing, if the world ever wanted that, uh, <laughs> they have the capabilities of doing that. Oh, they'll want it. Yeah, and it's pretty cool. The, the second and third floors are used for timing, and they've got uh, media centers, and it's just really has everything you could need. Um, this is the half sweepers, eight, half sculling eight that they needed a picture for. Nobody was here for so. <laughs> It will be forever the eighth. We've got the uh, physical therapy over there too. All right. Here we've got the the ice bath. The uh, the last day with all the racing, this was a very popular place to hang out. Okay, we've got the uh, the endless pool in here. Uh, it's pretty cool. We'll just go take a look at it. Okay. We've got mirrors right before there, so you can take a look at your your technique while you're swimming, and then you have the controls and just wirelessly works and you've got your split time up there huh. um, and you can just go faster and keep it going and it's pretty handy to have and uh, it's always nice to swim just to get a break from it. Have, this boat house has more electronics than anything I've ever seen. Um, you know, as we said, there's no shortage of projection screens and, and uh, flat screen. The boat house uh, in Oklahoma City, the boat house foundation. They really like to just go straight to the top of things. Uh -huh. So 
instead of just, just building like a regular boathouse, they try and build the best boathouse. And so, having like a golf cart, we have a street legal Polaris Pro Ranger, and uh, this thing goes up to like 60 miles an hour. Why would it ever need this? Other than it's awesome, I don't know, <laughs> but we've got it. And, and it uh, certainly is. <laughs> it certainly is, and that seems to be a, a common theme, just trying to go straight to the best here. These are just some of the toys we have to play with. Right, right. Something to help with your training. If I had the key right now, I would take you around and help it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using it for real purposes right now. <laughs> All right.